Good afternoon, fourth grade. We're going to continue reading in our text, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Um, to begin with, we're going to complete a fill-in-the-blank summary of chapter 42. Get ready to fill in the blank. Min Lee made it across the bridge to the top of Never Ending Mountain. She meets a white rabbit who takes her to the old man of the moon. On her way to meet the old man of the moon, she sees Wu Kang cutting down a tree. The rabbit tells her that Wu Kang is trying to learn to be content. Finally, Min Li is at the door and enters the room where the old man of the moon resides. Press pause to write down your answers and play when you're ready for the vocabulary. Our, vocabulary, our focus question for today is how it has Min Lee changed throughout the text? And how has Ma changed throughout the text? Our vocabulary words are dissatisfaction, which means unhappiness. And you could draw a line to this picture or this picture for dissatisfaction. The second word is pessimistic. That's when you tend to see the worst in everything. And you could draw a line to this picture or this picture. That's because dissatisfaction and pessimistic are synonyms. And the last word is optimistic. That's when you are hopeful or confident about the future. You are positive. Turn the page and, get, and turn in your book to chapter 43. We're going to use our CSPS strategy as we read. I'm on page 246. Get ready to follow along. Minley took one step into the walled courtyard and then stopped. Countless red threads covered the ground like intricate lace. And we know as a reader that those red threads are strings of destiny. Interwoven in the red strings were thousands and thousands of small clay figures, each no longer than her thick finger. Like a spider in the exact center sat the old man of the moon. And we'll stop right there because we have information about our setting. And in box 2A we would write, Min Lee is in the courtyard where the old man of the moon is sitting. The room is full of interwoven red threads and clay figures. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. For the quote, we would write down the first sentence, the first two sentences of the paragraph. It says, Min Lee took one step into the walled courtyard and then stopped. Countless red threads covered the ground like intricate lace. Press pause to write down the quote and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're at the bottom of page 246. He sat cross-legged like a giant with a giant book in his lap. His head was bowed over two clay figures in his hand, so that the most that Minley saw of him was the top of his head. But she could see his delicate wrinkled hands skillfully tying the figures in his lap together with a red thread. A blue silk bag full of red strings lay open beside him and Min Lee felt a shock run through her as she saw it. She had seen that bag before. Deep blue silk, silvery, silver embroidery. It was the bag of the buffalo boy's friend had been carrying that starry night. She's the goddess of weaving, Min Lee realized. She spins the red thread for the old man of the moon. I knew there was something different about her. No wonder she knew how to find the king. The old man reached beside him for his walking stick, a bent, twisted wooden stick, and tapped it on the ground. Silently, the clay figures floated from his hand, drifted in the air, then settled on the ground at opposite ends of the courtyard. The old man's thread still connected them, and the red line wove itself among the other strands surrounding him. As Min Lee stared, 
The old man looked at her. As Min Lee stared, the old man looked at her. The silver hair of his beard seemed to flow like a glowing waterfall and disappear into the folds of his robes, and his dark eyes matched the blackness of the night nice sky. Ah, the old man said, it's you. Min Lee nodded and bowed deeply. Turned a page. She would have kneeled on the ground, but she was afraid of disrupting the clay figure standing on the ground at her feet. Well, come here then, the old man said impatiently. He tapped his stick on the ground again, and with a sound like the flapping of a bird's wing, the clay figures moved, clearing a path for Min Lee. We'll stop right there because we have information about our character. In box 1A, we would write, Min Lee meets the old man of the moon in the courtyard. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. And we would write down the quote on page, the bottom of page 247, where it says, Min Lee nodded and bowed deeply. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to keep reading. We're on page 248. I know you have questions for me, the old man said. Every 99 years, someone comes here with their questions, but I will answer only one. So choose your question carefully. One question? Min Lee almost stopped walking in shock. If she was only allowed to ask one question, she could not ask Dragon's question for him, unless she did not ask her own. Min Lee felt like a fish gasping for air. What was she going to do? The memories of her hard work in the rice fields, her father's careworn hands, the plain rice in the dinner bowls, and Ma's sighs washed upon her like the splashes of water from the lake. She had to change her fortune. She must ask how to do that. We're going to stop right there because Min Lee has a problem. She can only ask one question. In box 3A, we would write, Min Lee is only allowed to ask one question to the old man of the moon. And she has two questions to ask. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote. For the, we would write down this quote in the middle of page 248. If she was only allowed to ask one question, she could not ask Dragon's question for him, unless she did not ask her own. Press pause to write down the quote and play when you're ready to keep reading. Bottom of page 248. But when Min Lee thought about Dragon waiting for her patiently, it was as if she had been struck, and like seeds falling from Wu Kang's trees, images of the dragon rained upon her. Their laughter as they passed the monkeys, his awkward struggles walking in the woods, his echoing roar as he flung the green tiger into the air, the kind hand he had put on her shoulder when she cried, and the hopeful look in his eyes as she leapt. Dragon is my friend, Min Lee said to herself. What should I do? Okay, and so Min Lee, she continues to think about all the lessons that she's learned. She thinks about Wu Kang and contentment. She thinks about the Buffalo Boy and how he is content with his life and the king and Da'afu and how they're content with their lives. Um, and she, you know, she's trying to figure out what question is she going to ask. Bottom of page 249. The old man of the moon looked at her expectingly, his black eyes as unreadable as the night sky. Min Lee looked down into the open book on his lap. The old man of the moon looked at her expectingly, his black eyes as unreadable as the night sky. Min Lee looked down at the open book on his lap. She recognized the open page as the king's borrowed line. The smoothed out folds and the holes she had made in it when she had turned it into a kite, were still there, turned the page. Yet, now the paper was invisibly fastened in the book, with only a thin line like a scar, showing that it had ever been removed. And the words had changed again. There was a single line of words running down the entire page. As she looked, Minley realized for the first time she could read the words, or really, the word. For the line was only made of one word written over and over again, and that word was thankfulness. 
and suddenly in the light when the clouds moved away from the moon then lee knew clearly what question to ask there's a dragon waiting at the bridge she said why can't he fly and if we stop right there we have the solution to our story in box 4a we would write then lee solved her problem by choosing to ask the old man of the moon dragon's question press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the quote and for the quote we would write down this last sentence on page 250 there is a dragon waiting at the bridge she said why can he not fly press pause to write down the quote and play when you're ready for the paragraph. For your paragraph, it says, Min Lee has a difficult decision to make. Describe the difficult decision and make a prediction about what you think she will decide. Why do you think she made this decision? Okay, and so we already know what Min Lee decided, and you need to describe her difficult decision from box three, what she did in box four, and you, in your own words, you need to say why you think she did this.